But I don't mind. And your parents knew what the kids were doing even. If my mother and dad had come to places like this, I wouldn't be here now. just the beginning. Sue and I will be working, and then we'll go to the high rolling places. So you consider me one of the nation's nifties. Oh. oh, you'll have your big moments. Wait till Dick makes his million, then your mother won't care if you go out with him. <laughs> well, you can't blame her. She knows that you can't even make love on empty stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Dick. You can always look forward to an old age pet. <laughs> <laughs> Turning it up. But that doesn't make them. There you are. Hey, Bill, you promised me more than two beers tonight. Why, I didn't expect to spend all my money in one place. Two beers. What a lady. Yes, sir. Put this on your head. But I can't. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. Well, all right. Well, you better help me. Well, 
Very high and way low. All by a pinky of beer. Why don't you sit at our table? <laughs> I go out of my way to be with so much youth and beauty. Drinks here. Or maybe cocktails for the ladies. No, thank you. The beer here is very good. Slippery rock. So we were talking about right down the hill, head over heels again. And I'm saying we hit that water just to splash. Well, I gotta go. <laughs> no, I need hole. <laughs> well, that, that puppy over there gives me an idea. What do you say we have a weenie roast next Saturday? Yeah, but where? My guest, of course. Uh, say, uh, next Saturday night? Well, that's certainly nice, eh, pal? As one gentleman to another, that's well. You like music, don't you? Yes, but you were tickling my knee. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? I mean, the music. Oh, come on. Haven't you got a little loving for a poor fella? Mm, you won't always be poor. Now you're talking. I know, <laughs> but you won't always be poor. Gee, I'm glad you feel that way. doing anything. Well, if a couple of drinks are going to make you answer the call a while, I won't go with you anymore. Well, you're stopping me in my favorite sin. You're my girlfriend, aren't you? Yes. But no honeymooning until after we're married.
see how it feels to go home alone. I'll teach her a lesson. I'll just let her walk home. Savage peas, honey. girls have evening gowns. Why can't I have one? Why, dear? I want one for Saturday night. An evening gown? Don't be silly. Oh, I never have anything. I'll fix over that blue silk dress at Elaine for you. She never wears it anymore. It will look real pretty on you. Everything I have is Elaine. Why can't I have something new of my very own? You know, Burma, we must sacrifice a little for Elaine. After she's married, your turn will come. Good night. Did you get all your homework done? Did you get all your lessons tonight? Yes, all of them. <laughs> That's what Joanne always says. Well, I never know what to say when the teacher asks me. <laughs> hey, don't forget we're going to the beach tonight. I don't think I should, Dick. That homework alibi is wearing thin. Well, you got by with it the other night, didn't you? And besides, that fellow Tony seems like a pretty grand person to know. Ah, they're not going to miss you as long as your sister's around. Well, what kind of strategy would you suggest to bring you through the interference? Leave it to Joanne again. She'll turn you out a healthy alibi. Okay by me. So long. So long. Step up and take your choice. They're all alike. Where's my drink? Where's my drink? Coming right up. I hope not. Who 
said it wasn't loaded? This is going to be a slippery drink for sliding girls. Oh, oh God. Slippery girls. Groaning at the bar when we put out the scene. Oh. Is there anything here I haven't tried yet? The funniest cigarettes I ever saw. The funniest cigarettes I ever tasted. Here, Burma, try one of these on your algebra. What are they? I don't know. We try Tony's giggle water, let's try his giggle weed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> you're the one that's silly, because you're not silly. <laughs> There's not a laugh left in your marriage. <laughs> Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? One hot lover coming right up. One right piece coming right down. <laughs> oh, oh, for a worm's eye view of that. <laughs> up a little bit. What's wrong? Come on, I'll take you out on the beach and you can cool off. Oh, that's a good idea. There's too many people around. What? <laughs> There's too many people looking at it. Oh, <laughs> 
suspicious and easily hooked. <laughs> oh, Dick, I love you. Will you always be crazy about me? Why, of course I will, Burma. You know that. Promise me. Promise me. Quite sure. You know I love you, honey. Love me, don't you? Of course I do, Burma. You know that. Now come on, come on. Let's get back inside. Hey, what's going on here? Where's Joanne? Joanne, why are you? I haven't seen her. Why, the last I saw of her, she was going to swim out away. Kids are in a mess. This is what you've got to do. Under no circumstances are you to say you were in this house. The police will pass an innocent weenie roast on the beach. But should they know of your actions here, that there's been a drinking party, nude bathing, an investigation will surely take place. And that will mean you're becoming wards of the juvenile court. been that way, Mother, and I had no idea that she even mixed with such a crowd. Burma. Yes, Mother. You might have at least considered me, Burma. You know what this will mean to Morgan's family. Oh, sure. It's always you who's to be considered. Oh, my dear. And how do you suppose I feel about Joanne? Oh, my dear. If it wasn't that Elaine gets all the flippity attention around this place, maybe I wouldn't have to go to Beer Hall's beach party. Maybe I wouldn't have even gotten into this trouble. All I ever hear around this place is Elaine, Elaine, Elaine. Perhaps there's some way we can still keep Burma's name out of this affair. Oh, you keep quiet. There must be some way we can keep her name out of it. Well, I'll sacrifice everything. Every penny is necessary to protect our name. To keep you and Morgan from being broken up. It's Elaine again. I was sorry at first when I caused you this trouble, but now I don't care. Use your little money and keep my name out of the beach drowning, and by all means, marry Elaine off. You don't ever have to do anything more for me, either of you. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
I just had to see you, Dick. These last two months since the accident have been unbearable. Nothing but quarrels with Mother and Elaine. I've made up my mind I won't live with him anymore. Dick, we've just got to get married. <laughs> well, gee, Burma, you know how much I care for you, but I haven't any job. I couldn't support you. You can find work, Dick. Take anything. No, 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 no. It's no use to even talk about it. Not until I can offer you some sort of security. I didn't want to tell you, Dick, but there's another reason. Now I know something else. Dick, you... you must marry me. Don't you worry, kid. I'll not let you down. We'll get married. I'll do anything. I'll see Tony. He'll make me a loan. Or give me a job. I haven't talked to him. What difference does it make? Here? Did you speak to him for me? Yes, sure. Go ahead. He'll talk to you. So long, Keith. I'll be seeing you. What's on your mind, kid? It was your beach party. Well, I... I got Burma in trouble. I, I want to marry her, but I haven't any money. Haven't a job. That's why I came to see you. I, I've got to marry her. So, I am elected to be the best man at your wedding. Well, the kids didn't talk. It was all quieted down, all except Burma. I, I got to marry her. I'm unable to spare any cash right now, but I might be able to put you in the way of making a little money for yourself. But tell me, I'll do anything. Of course, you got to be a little careful. Sit down. I'll tell you about it. If anybody says anything, leave it to me. We are carrying tea. That's all. Just tea. Come on.
What are you going to do about Dick? Dick? His being killed. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. You knew it before I read in the papers. He came to you for a job. I'm sure I can't tell you anything. You can tell me or explain it to the police. <laughs> I take it I'm being threatened? You're not going to smile your way out of this. You got out of it when Joanne was drowned. But I'm not keeping quiet about this. All right. Go ahead and talk. Your name wasn't mentioned in that beach affair, but of course, if you want the newspapers to bring in the both of them. I don't care. I don't care who's brought in now. Dick's dead, and nothing else matters. In your grand and generous way, you took in a bunch of dumb kids, and one of them was drowned. And yesterday, when Dick came to you, you sent him out to be killed. Tony, I'm going to tell the police no matter what happens. Listen, you little fool. You don't care about yourself, do you? But while I'm rotting in jail, what are you going to do about your baby? Open that door. I suppose it's going to be just a sweet little love child, won't it? And you'll give birth to it in your mother's or your sister's Mrs. Morgan Stewart's home. your nerves. This is the point. Right now, you're in an unpleasant situation, and I'm the fellow who can help you out. I know how you feel. And I'm going to send you away to have your baby. Mother, I'll do everything I can to find her and bring her home. Well, dear, we'll be leaving in a few minutes. Morgan, there's only one thing that marks my perfect happiness. We mustn't let anything spoil our honeymoon. And when we get back, I'm going to do everything to help you find Burma. Hey. Bring it along. Okay. Uh, see, but I'm glad to see you. You're certainly looking fine. How do you feel now? Strong? Well? Oh, I guess I'm all right now. Soon I'll be able to leave here with my baby. You know, Burma, I don't think you should. I shouldn't what? Well, you become attached to it. Sure. you got to think of your future, Burma. And it's not going to be so easy. That is, uh, that is, uh, for the kid to take care of. But my baby must have a home. Exactly. And very often, wealthy families are willing to adopt a baby like yours. Give it a fine home, education, and all the opportunities in life that you would never be able to. As a matter of fact, Tony just learned of a responsible couple who is willing to take your baby. But I want Would that be quite fair to the child? You've got to think of yourself, Burma. Your chance to make something of yourself and get your share of things from life. 
You're smart, good looking. And if you listen to me, you're going to make a lot of money. Sure. <laughs> it's delicious, and I love it. I'm glad of that, Burma. You're always going to have champagne. <laughs> and you're going to have plenty. You're right. I was born for the good things just as well as that sister of mine. <laughs> Take it from me, Tony. I'm going to get enough money to make that sister of mine look like a piker. <laughs> Can I take it? You're doing all right, Blondie. The way your marijuana customers are hooked on the stronger stuff, uh, like H and C, you'll soon be ice queen of the snow peddlers. Blondie. short five dollars you can do without your heroin. Oh, but, but that's all I could get. You can't leave me like this. And I came all this way. You know the story is a drug addict. Stop it. I have to do without it much longer. Oh, don't you see my, my husband? He will discover everything. Why don't you make another connection? If you really want it, I might accept that ring for five dollars. But it was my engagement ring. Do you want this package or not? <laughs> I'm the doll that should be sporting the rock. Don't mind a little bump, do you? Yeah, yeah, you're. Ah, yeah. She's all right. Come on now. Oh, Mary, <laughs> she's doing all right, eh, Nick? I'll say she's the queen of the snow peddlers. <laughs> Listen, you guys, have I got a fifty thousand dollar idea? Hey, Tony, get it all of these. Wait. I gotta take a pop on this. Yeah. Take another shot and it'll be a hundred thousand dollar idea. <laughs> what is it? I'm making a connection. And who do you suppose I see but my charming sister, Mrs. Morgan Stewart, no less. 
Not only that, but what have she and her wealthy husband got but a kid? Does that give you an idea? Get it? Well, uh, you mean that, uh... That's just what I mean. When we snatch the kid, Elaine will suffer the torments of hell. Then after they dig up to get the kid back, we're in the 50 grand that the Morgan Stewarts are out. But, Blondie, you know what the rough is for a snatch job? That's the beauty of it. There won't be any rap. Could a well-known society dame tell the world it's her own sister who stole her kid? Come on, you little bat. Drink this. Oh, don't make her cry, Blondie. She's too stubborn to even ball. Gee, how the little beast reminds me of my sister. It sure has a lot of spunk. She has it that. Just like me when I was a kid. Blondie, you're making contact in a half an hour. Yeah, and you better get started, too. Huh. Now, now you're going to bring this for Nikki, huh? Oh, come on. Helen, why haven't you been wearing your ring lately? Oh, my ring, yes. I hated to tell you. Tell me? Tell me what? Why, why, someone snatched it. I don't remember. It was one day when I was taking a nap. It couldn't have been one of our friends. That, uh, that blonde woman who visits you sometimes, was she here? Don't ask me. I don't want to talk about it. I'm terribly disturbed. What? Better take Dean right out and see if you can locate Blondie. What the? Daddy. And this? Nice horsey. Bad horsey. Bad horsey. <laughs> and what's this now? Nice horsey. Right. Nice horsey. Show me some more. I suppose I have to. Where's my mother? 
Listen, Schubert. Is that my mother? We shall sit down. Keep be a very fast man. So close your eyes and keep quiet. Remember, he might be a bad man. get a ring and run into a load of dope. Look! Stuart Child. Is that you, Mr. Stewart? Why, yes. Does that satisfy you? Yes. Give me the 50000 and your child will be home in an hour. I'm not going to pay any rent. We'll take the baby back with a promise not to cause you any trouble. You see, the child isn't really ours. What do you mean? It was born to my wife's sister three years ago when she disappeared. Wife's sister? Yes. We adopted it out of sentiment for her. Your child will be back tonight. You, you are right. They are not from the fire department. If you listen to me, you're going to make a lot of money. Hmm. That's right, Burma. Tony just learned a responsible couple is willing to adopt your baby. But my baby must have a home. 
But I want to keep my baby. Why, sister? It's Elaine again. Elaine, 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 Elaine! 